You're watching the Fan Sports Show. Ten minutes till seven, almost dinner time. But we're bringing you a little appetizer. All yes? right, I'm you like hungry. that? I'm Papa Murphy's hungry. time. All right. Yes. I've been waiting excited. all day for Papa Murphy's <laughs> fan face. Well, here's what we do. Just like you would oh, when yummy. ordering a pizza, Bill is starving here. We pick from a list of toppings, aka topics. So here we go, Bill. We have kneading dough, feast or famine, sit and eat. And full service shot. I you need ready? some dough, so let's go kneading dough. <laughs> oh, you're good, Bill Jones. Clippers owner Donald Sterling fired head coach Vinny Del Negro in the hopes of keeping Chris Paul in LA. Do you think that will work? You know, you probably have a better guess on this than I do. Um, I don't think it matters that much. Yeah, I think that the whole putting stock in, I think the coach is like, you know, just kind of like a nice window treatment. Oh, that's nice. It's lovely, but I it's not it's the reason the to buy the house. the players that you have yeah. on the team. And if we're getting back to the Mavericks, it matters more selling what the Mavericks will have on their roster to CP3. Versus, if you can get him out of there. Versus selling Rick Carlisle. Right. Yeah. Although I'm not although, downplaying Rick Carlisle. Yeah, although I, yeah. Rick Carlisle is a positive, yes. but you need more positives than that. Yeah. You never know what Donald Sterling can bring in, though. I got to tell you, Vinny Del Negro, I feel sorry for him. He would come up to shoot arounds in the morning and say, hey, you guys need me? He'd be like, no, sorry, we don't need to talk to you. We're here to talk to Blake Griffin. I felt kind of bad for him. Well, okay. could have interviewed him just to make him feel better. The sympathy interview? Yeah. I've done plenty of those. I'm hungry. I need something else. We need another Are second topic. Are you feasting topping. or are yeah. you famined? Oh. <laughs> I bet. Oh, very good. Yeah. Nice He's feasting. Here. We're going feast, feast or famine. Jose, speaking of feasting, oh Lord. Jose Canseco begins the weekend playing for the Fort Worth Cats tonight. He said this morning that he could strike out four times or hit four home runs. Which will it be? I'm predicting famine for <coughs> Jose Canseco. Is he going to play in the field? I don't Because that would be a treat to watch him hit one <laughs> off his head and over the fence. That's the only home run that Jose Canseco will hit for the Fort Worth Cats. Is that one of your favorite moments in it baseball history? It is one history? of my favorite moments, and it's amazing how this guy has played that moment into, now 20 years later, he's got over 500,000 followers on Twitter. Because he's a knucklehead. Yes. People like knuckleheadedness. I guess so. Yes, they do. Okay, are you sitting and eating? Yes, let's sit and eat okay. rather than standing and Very not good. eating. Uh, I think you burn more calories when you stand and eat them. Oh, okay. Maybe I should do that. But, you, but, would you recommend that? No, but you don't enjoy your meal as much, so you may eat more, so it kind of balances each other <laughs> okay. out. Okay. The Pacers dropped, oh, we saw this. The Pacers dropped a heartbreaker in overtime to the Miami Heat, in part because head coach Frank Vogel decided to sit big man Roy Hibbert. Okay, knucklehead move there, speaking of knuckleheads. You think the Pacers can rebound? And well, they were never, they weren't going to win this they series. They weren't going to win no, the series, no, but no. if they had any chance of winning the series, they needed to stop LeBron James mm. right there and win that game last night. Um, so, I mean, they may steal a win <laughs> against them, but yeah, look at that. Isn't that great? <laughs> that is priceless. <laughs> that is going to be replayed over and over. That was not good for over. the Pacers no. to sit and eat because they weren't eating because he was sitting. Yes, they will not be eating. They will, be, right. they will be in famine mode That's after right. this. Okay, right. finally, our full service shop. It's our final topping. Elio Castroneves surprised a person at an Indiana Shell station when he awarded her free gasoline for an entire year. The question is, what is something Thing that you would like to have free for one year, Bill Jones. Oh, wow. I'm not going to say the first thing that entered my mind, but. <laughs> so I'll enter this. Wow. I'll do the wondering. second. Free food. I'll have free yeah. food because I'm hungry. Although I'm filling up on this segment right Pop here. Papa Murphy's. <laughs> I, I'd like free coffee or free Hermes. Yeah. Oh, there you go. I'm going free food. Okay. Yeah. Well, all the girls know what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Bill. Ahead in the what prime time. <laughs> a fashion thing. Oh, okay. Go back to sports. <laughs> <laughs> coffee, though. Yeah, I, I understood that, that part. I didn't understand the, the second part. Hermes.